Hello everyone, my name is Jishwar from Design World Channel and today we are going to learn how we can do harnessing in Katia V5 software. So without any further delay, let us get started. So let me first show you how we can enter into the harnessing workbench of CADIA software. So first go to start equipment and system and go to electrical harness display. From there you can select electrical harness assembly. Well, so this is the interface of harnessing in CATIA. So we need some electrical component where we can start harnessing to it. So I have already made two standard component of electrical part. I'm going to call in this workbench. So double click on the product, then go to insert existing component. Now this is my first part and just copy it we need one more paste it here and again we will go for our second component so just double click go to insert existing component and just open it here we need oh, one more part of this so just copy it and paste in the tree so once done use your compass just right click and highlight this option snap automatically to the selected object once it is done just click on your part now you can move it in your desired direction like this you can also rotate this one Similarly, again, we can do this for our second part. And we are going to rotate it a little bit like this. And for switch, again, we are going to drag it in some other places. So almost we are done. Now move your compass to the default position. So, so first basic steps to start harnessing is that you need to click in this icon that is geometrical bundle and then after you need to click in your product so as you can see the icon of this geometrical bundle has been changed and just right click go to properties and here we can write harness underscore one once done click on this icon that is bundle segment so in this bundle segment definition we need to define the diameter of the wire and we have to also define the bend radius of this wire so now we will click on the root definition and we can select our first starting point as you can see when i'm moving the cursor nearby this part it's showing me a cross mark so just select it and we need to define our second point so i have already selected the second point of it and if you want to change the orientation just select the point like this and highlight this option replace so as you can see the orientation has been changed now here 
similarly we are going to do for our first point so go in the first point and select this face so as you can see it moving the points and accordingly it taking the curvature of here so as you can see i have selected this point and now i have changed the orientation of it so once done just click ok here if you want to give slack you can give it here and you can also highlight this bent radius ratio once done apply and ok so here as you can see it's showing red color that means this void needs update so just click on this update option and it's done now we will go for our second bundle option so again select this option bundle segment and again we are going to select some point so this will be our first point and this one will be our second point so similarly we can modify the orientation just highlight this option replace and select on this face as you can see the orientation has been changed now accordingly you can change it so now again we will do for our first point also as you can see it going outside of our part that we won't record now so leave as it is once done click ok and we are going to take one more bundle segment to connect these two parts so here again we need to click root definition and we need to define two points and if you want to modify the orientation again we need to go on replace icon and we need to click on the last surface as you can see the orientation has been changed now and we can also try for our second part we will try to modify the orientation yeah this one is also a good one so just keep it as it is once done apply and click ok if you really like this video then please give thumbs up to it subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon 